What's up guys? Welcome to episode 2 of my uh, prep vlog, I guess the Journey to the Stage series. Brought the cold and the roses never bloom weeks out going on 13 weeks out now and I wanted to address a question that I got on last week's video it's just regarding cardio I had asked because she saw me doing the Stairmaster in my last prep vlog the stairway to hell machine more efficient than an elliptical I find I get weight irritated with the elliptical I'm looking for new cardio I'm not coordinated enough to run well so the treadmill is out and no pool to swim in. In terms of cardio machines, the Stairmaster probably burns more calories in the amount of time versus the elliptical but of course it depends on the intensity of the Stairmaster whether you're holding on to the handrails or not or how high you have the resistance on the elliptical. Cardio is going to be cardio. Um, I would just recommend sticking to what you can do consistently with your program. So if you have to do 10-20 minutes of car cardio a day, um, do whatever you need to to get it done, but do something that you can actually put effort into. So if you're doing the elliptical and you hate it and you're just kind of cruising along and not really putting in effort and then if you try the Stairmaster and you find that you get a better sweat you feel like you pushed more chances are the Stairmaster is going to be more beneficial in terms of fat loss or progress so I would recommend do what you can keep up with and improve with uh, but also try and find a way to enjoy it. I always like to watch YouTube or listen to audiobooks whenever I'm doing cardio and I respond to YouTube comments, I respond to Instagram stuff, so I try and keep myself busy so that I don't really realize the time is passing. But of course my cardio is not crazy high right now, so we will see how that goes as this prep ensues. I've got a long way to go. But the only way to get there is to practice. So I'm gonna try and pose at least every day. Um, after my workout, I'm gonna come up here for a few minutes, put on the heels, do my poses, and then head out. So. So we picked up a few things at the grocery store. We always have tons of greens. I'm huge on just big salad bowls. I love greens. I didn't always love them, but I do now because I've just eaten so much of them. Got our normal like greens and peppers. I'm going to try out some of these sweet potato spirals. It's just another way to have sweet potatoes. Um, I think you're supposed to cook them up a bit, but I might put them in the air fryer with some cinnamon and a little bit of syrup. See how that turns out. I, I just had to get these because they're so strange. Um, if you guys have ever had jicama, it's like if potatoes and water chestnuts were to have a baby. They're slightly sweet, very, very crunchy. So I'm curious how these tortillas are gonna be. I'll probably put some of this, um, the Beyond Meat strips on there. And it's just like a super low carb option. There's less than two carbs per tortilla. Of course, it's just volume eating, just like greens and, and coleslaw and things like this. You get more volume for less calories. Normal cashew milk. This milk is a new nut milk that just came out at our store. And actually, coincidentally, um, a friend of mine from the gym, her brother-in-law started this company. So she was there today sampling and I tried the sweetened vanilla almond milk. She gave me a uh, coupon, so I got some of this. It's great to add for coffee. And what's cool about this stuff is they're like, just check out the ingredients. Water, sprouted almonds, maple syrup, vanilla, and salt. You know exactly what's going into what you're consuming, which is something I am all for. And it's local. Um, it's a local company, so I definitely support that. Of course, hummus. I've been obsessed with hummus lately. Something fun I found. Chocolate hummus spread. You never know till you try. I have no idea. I guess I could put this on like waffles or something. Maybe it's going to be kind of a Nutella type of food. Um, I do like sweet chickpeas, so we shall see how this goes. Some more uh, Beyond Meat strips, which these, we had coupons for these, so I got some more of these. Matt really likes these Morning Star Farm uh, barbecue riblets. Of course, that's not, they're not actually made out of an animal's ribs. It's made out of plants, uh, but these are delicious. The taste and the texture is fantastic. 
fantastic. We love these. Got some pudding for my protein sludge. I've heard great things about these um, Pro Bars. They're kind of meal replacements, so they're a bit higher calorie, but you know, if I'm in a hurry and I need to get something in after my workout, these are gonna be a great option. I will try those out this week. More cold brew coffee. I got some ice cream today, and I'm gonna put these away real quick, but then I'm going to talk to you guys about the fact that I am dieting for a bodybuilding show and I still buy things like this and this and this when really these aren't technically like clean foods, but I'll talk to you guys about that in a bit. All right, so why do I eat ice cream and like Lenny and Larry's cookies and junk food while I'm prepping? So I've been advocating for and following a lifestyle slash diet approach called flexible dieting or IIFYM if it fits your macros. Basically what this means is that I have figured out my body's intake or needs for protein, carbs, fats. And of course I pay attention to fiber but I don't really need to. I, I take in a good amount of fiber per day uh, by default. I've, I've found out my body's optimal intake of that and for this prep uh, my coach and I figured out a good intake as far as what my caloric intake needs to be to diet down and where my protein, my carbs, and my fats need to be to continue losing fat. As, as the show gets closer and just like in my last prep video we talked about I'm going to have to keep lowering my intake over time, but at the same time, I eat what I want so long as I adhere to that daily protein, carb, and fat intake. Now this doesn't mean that I'm going to be eating junk all day. What you doing? You wanna sit down? Ouch! I don't eat junk all day, but when when I start dieting and when my calories start to lower, I start to get cravings. And speaking from past experience, restricting myself from foods that I am craving has never worked out in the long run because I end up binge eating all of those foods. So certain foods that used to trigger binges for me were things like Oreos, ice cream, cereal, um, crackers, chips, basically any type of junk food because I thought I needed to avoid those to reach my goals. I found out that I can eat them, it just I can't eat a whole pint of ice cream. So what I do for my prep is if I'm craving something, I allow myself to have it. I fit it into my protein, carb, and fat goals for the day and I move on. During my prep, I think it's more important for me to incorporate these foods to prevent myself from binging later on through my prep or even after my show. A lot of people that compete in bodybuilding do tend to rebound, is usually what it's referred to. They tend to rebound pretty quickly because a lot of the people that do prep will restrict so many foods from their diet and so the entire time that they're prepping, whatever, 8, 12, 16, 20 weeks or so, all they're thinking about is after the show and the foods that they'll be able to eat again. A lot of competitors actually stockpile a bunch of food to binge on after their show. They'll, they'll show the stash of like candy bars and chips and cookies and all of this stuff and they say after the show they're going to eat that. Well of course whenever you are severely restricted, basically it's the rubber band effect. You're pulling and pulling and pulling. Whenever it breaks, yeah, they end up eating all of it. They make themselves sick and they gain a ton of fat back immediately. Basically my approach and my, my trick to avoid all of that is to incorporate these foods into my prep. I incorporate them into my goals and I move on. Now keep in mind that 90% of my diet is is clean food so it's whole plant foods but then there's, there's a little bit of wiggle room so whenever I do want to have some of that ice cream like I showed y'all or if I do want to have a Lindy and Larry's cookie like I did today whenever I was practicing my posing, I can and I move on throughout the day and I just move on with my life. I don't spend the rest of my time thinking about food and that's the goal, you know. Of course, bodybuilding is, is strict enough um, whenever you have to diet down and, and adhere to a more strict workout and cardio routine, but I don't want to spend all of my time obsessing about food. So that's why I still eat things like ice cream and cookies and crackers and things like that on even on my prep. Thank you.